Here we go again. So I'm going to zoom in on this guy and just deal with this part first. I need a common denominator to be able to add, so my common denominator is going to be 1 plus x. He needs 1 plus x, so I need to multiply top and bottom by 1 plus x. That's a fancy form of 1. I'm multiplying 1 by 1. I'm not changing it. So now, this guy's going to chill, this guy's going to chill. My common denominator is 1 plus x, and I am free to add my numerators now that the denominators are the same. So I have 1 plus x plus 1, and so I have 1 plus 1 over x plus 2 over... I'm just going to say 1 plus x is x plus 1. There we go. And so now we've been taught that if you're dividing fractions, you can flip and multiply. So we have 1 plus, and then I'll flip and multiply this, so it'll be x plus 1 over x plus 2. The reason that's working is because of your fufus again, because you're multiplying top and bottom by x plus 1, essentially canceling those out. So we're multiplying by 1, and then it flips up to the top. So, we got that, and now we have to do it again. So I need a common denominator of x plus 2. So this guy is going to need an x plus 2, and so I'll need to multiply the top by an x plus 2 as well. Fancy form of 1. So this is going to be x plus 2, and then the middle sign was a plus, sorry, it's getting a little messy. x plus 1, and so I'm going to have 2x plus 3 over x plus 2. I look to see if there's any simplification. Nope. That's as good as it gets.